So would you talk a little bit about what the Senate culture was like when you came in? There weren't very many women, but I'm interested to know how you were treated. I, I, thought, I thought we were treated well. I think for the most part, but I, uh, there was certainly, uh, you know, some good old boys, uh, you know, that were in the Senate at that time. Some of them were wonderful. I, uh, I know a group of them, and we were all from Shawnee County. You and I and Jeannie Hofer were all from Shawnee County. And of course, the folks from out of town, they, they saw each other in the evenings, and I, right. we didn't, we didn't. Uh, and I, I sat by Frank Gaines, and I always got the, you know, the little um, short version of what was going to happen that day because they talked about it the night before and so I wasn't aware of a lot of it but boy was he right about a lot of what was going to happen because he talked with the other guys when they were you know out having dinner and whatever at night so I, I know that I mean I know did Frank call us girls and, oh yeah but he was a kick I mean I he he made me laugh even when he was doing that yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, we probably were not smart enough to really have a women's caucus at that time to, to really, you know, uh, gather some strength in numbers. Because uh, I don't know that we did. I don't think did. any one of us really came in strictly for feminine issues. You know, I, 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 education is not a feminine issue. Yeah. Children isn't a feminine issue. Right, right. And I, I remember a reporter asked me if I was going to be supportive of women's issues, and I said, I think women's issues are really people issues. You know, what, I said the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see the difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. And I don't know, and we were talking just a little bit earlier, but uh, Alicia, do you remember when we all, the three of us were elected from Shawnee County and Martin Haver, who at that time was a reporter for the Topeka Capital Journal, he uh, calls us a triple date. <laughs> and I, and I, that probably got a little bit of play because it was unusual for three women to be elected from Shawnee it, it, County. I felt, kind of felt special. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, you know, it certainly was an honor. And, and we, I think that, uh, that there, uh, it, I think it was a little bit hard in, in some ways to, uh, to get along. But then again, there were probably some times that uh, they, you know, I don't know if they went easier on us because we were women when, when we were arguing. I don't know that I recall that, but there, Perhaps, maybe, at Don't times. Don't you think, though, even though um, there were initially good old boys, don't you think it was, was um, easier then than it would be today? That's an interesting question. In what way do you think? Oh, I think there's more civility. Oh, that's a good point. Um, because I, yeah, I don't think that uh, that we were treated um, in any hostile way or, or or anything like that. I don't know that we heard maybe all, in some bumbling way. But yeah, it, maybe at times. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember if if they told us jokes like they would tell their colleagues. I'm not so sure. But I don't think during that time that people were as concerned about that that might be. A, sexual harassment or reason to report someone. I don't think that was, I don't think anyone gave that any thought. It was a little different time as far as that. One real quick question. Uh, you are from different political parties. Did that get in the way of your working together? I didn't, from my perspective, I, I have said before and I would continue to say, we're not gonna agree with everyone all the time, but uh, you certainly respect, and being respectful is so important. Right, I, I don't think that it did get in the way. I mean, you knew certain things. There were certain issues where uh, you did get uh, 
persuasion by your political party right. to vote in a certain way, and, and we understood that, I, I think, but I don't think it caused problems among uh, us, those of us well, from Shawnee know, County. And, and, and you and I shared an interest in Shawnee County schools. Absolutely. And, and, and I would talk to you about it, because right. at that time, being vice chairman of the Education Committee, I was also kind of automatically a member of the conference committee. But uh, I, I sort of fell out of line because I, when I found out what effect that would have on the schools that I represented, I would have to vote with my constituents and suddenly I was no longer on the conference committee <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> I had forgotten that you were on it because I was on the conference uh -huh. committee uh -huh. as the ranking minority member on education, yep. and I'd forgotten that. But and that's you, why we talked about it. And you said, "Well, you're reminding you know, me. Of you, it. you get, you gotta do what's best for the schools you're represented." And I heard that, and I did it, and suddenly <laughs> you're, you're pulled off. Uh -huh. Wow. And I didn't know I didn't know I was going to be. Okay, thank you all very much. <laughs> this is just a short clip to uh, tease some people about uh, how much fun it is to be a state legislator. Okay.